Hello, welcome to Minute Trials, my name is Stuart and welcome to another Epic Battles Waterloo campaign painting tutorial again by Warlord Games with the scale is 13.5mm to the eye so a little bit smaller than a standard 15mm miniature, at least a modern day one. So today's subject is a British Hussar from the 18th Regiment um, and this, this colour scheme is going to be something that um, works with a lot of Hussars. Um, I picked a particular regiment because it's part of a commission so I'm just painting the single miniature on screen, the rest is for a client but it should give you guys an idea of maybe how to go about yours if you haven't done them already and you wanted a bit of a pointer in this way now as always if you are a regular review of my painting tutorials for this scale the miniature is prepared using the zenithal method so it's a black prime with a top down white uh, well top down and almost 45 degree angle white so the miniature looks fairly white but there is a little bit of natural shadow and shading and that aids the base coating which i will do mostly with contrast paints from citadel and army painter speed paints this will mean then the miniature is game ready just after the base coats even though i will go on and do some highlights if you want a little bit more information on zenithal pre-highlighting i'll pop a little link in the video now and you can watch a video that i did on it so first up we're going to start working on the horse and i'm going to use army painter speed paint hardened leather now, some Army Painter Speed Paints um, can suffer from a little bit of reactivation if you get the, the paint wet again afterwards, or even when you paint over it with other colours. I find this happens more on the, the sort of the warmer reds and browns, um, and this is one of the colours that does suffer from that a little bit. However, you can get around this by uh, using a matte varnish. Um, I'm not doing that in this case at this stage, because I'm going to highlight with another colour, and I find that once you've highlighted over the top of it with a similar brown or a lighter brown, it doesn't really have an issue i am however going to make sure i leave white areas where i would want the socks and any markings on the horse to be because this color doesn't take white very well over the top of it as far as i'm aware i think this reactivation uh, feature or issue depending on which way you look at it is something that army painter are looking to change with a sort of revamped range anyway but the paint is absolutely excellent color and it flows so well into the the sort of gaps and crevices that i still use it i'm just aware of its properties So now I'm going to be using Contrast Dark Oath Flesh. This is for the flesh areas on the miniature itself, so face and hands. Um, some cavalry models, they may have gloves or something, and I'm painting these ones as if their, their hands are bare. Next up, the first of the Contrast Blacks. This one is Black Legion. This is on a warmer tone, almost some brown tones to it. And I'm using it to paint the hooves of the horse. I will do the mane and tail as well. And while I'm at it, I also block out the whiter areas on the base. So when I base later on, it's a little bit easier to cover with, with brown rather than white. Next up, I'm using Gorgon Defer to paint the stock of the carbine. Next up, the other black in the contrast range is Black Templar. I'll be using that to paint in the horse's reins and the sabre tash, the cartridge box and bits and bobs like that, boots, etc. Now contrast Bicella Canyon Grey, I'm going to be using these for the trousers of the rider themselves and also the horse's blanket. Now there are some fur or sheepskin areas on the top of the horse's saddle and I'm using Skeleton Horde for the base layer of those. Now I switch to Army Painter Cloudburst Blue for the majority of the blue areas on the miniature. So we are talking the rolled blanket, we are talking the jacket and under jacket of the rider itself. And now to see the little contrast Blood Angels Red. There's a couple of little red areas. So we're talking about the lower half of the little plume at the top and some banding on the blankets. Mm -hmm. 
Now, for this regiment, all the fur trim on the Hussar's jacket is white, so I'm using a Citadel Contrast Apothecary White, which is essentially a grey wash, really, or a grey glaze. It just adds a little bit of depth to the, the white areas that are already on there. I don't even do thick here. The pre-highlighted white over the black has actually given us a bit of a grey kind of tone anyway, but this just helps tidy it up a little. I'm using Contrast Wildwood for the rider's hair. And this is scale colour, so scale 75 black metal, and I'll use it as the base for the, the sides of the metal stirrups, and also the scabbard for the sword as well, and the sword itself. And now for scale color necro gold. Now this is going to be used for the little bit of gold trim or lace that's on the um, the, the shako itself, or the busby rather, um, and also on the side straps of the, the busby as well. Now you can go two ways with, with sort of gold lacing like that. I find if there's an awful lot of it on miniature this scale, I actually go to yellow rather than using a metallic paint. But when it's just a small touch like this, gold seems to work very nicely. Now, in terms of a base layer, that's everything covered. So the, the miniature is very much tabletop ready and it was fairly quick and you get a bit of natural highlight and shading due to the, the pre-highlight process using Zenithal. So you can stick this on a base and gain from there. But as usual, I'm going to go on and highlight a little bit further and make the miniature pop a little more. Now, first up, I'm going to be using Vallejo Model Color Prussian Blue just as a highlight on the jacket. You've already got a little bit of natural highlighting there from the contrast, so just some thin lines to pick out of the most raised areas will do the job. You also carry this color over to highlight the, the blanket rolls and the other blue areas on the horse. Now there's a little blue piece of fabric on the side of the Busby itself. I have no idea what it's called, but it's a slightly different colour in the image, so I'm using Citadel McCrag Blue for that. I'm just highlighting those sheepskin areas on the top of the saddle with model colour and dark sand. and highlighting the red areas with Citadel Colour Evil Sun Scarlet. Highlighting the, the grey blanket and the trousers with Scale Colour Graphene Grey. And now model colour orange brown as the highlight for the horse itself. Again, as the army painter hardened leather has provided some pretty good natural highlighting shadows over the zenithal highlight, you really just need to add a few lines here or there just to kind of make the miniature stand out and pop a little bit more. Now for a small touch of model colour basic skin tone to highlight the flesh, the contrast does a good job of, of providing a little bit of natural stuff anyway, especially if the, the face is already fairly light from the pre-highlight, but I just find popping a little line on the top of the nose and on the cheekbones and maybe on the knuckles of, of hands that are, are visible just really makes it stand out. So back to some scale colour and this time it's graphite grey um, and that's perfect for highlighting the edges of any black areas. Now I don't want to do too much, um, that's partly the job of the contrast to do it for you. But on the, the little sabre tash at the side sometimes it needs lifting and just a little bit on the most visible areas of the reins. And I can also use this on the fur of the mane and of the tail. Now on to model colour off-white, and I'm going to be using this to highlight all of the white areas on the model. So we're talking about the areas of white on the horse, and it'll just really make that pop. You don't want to completely cover the whole area because you've got that natural um, highlight from the, the pre-highlight there, which gives you grey, gives you multi, multi tones. And then also using the same colour for all of the white trim on the model. And you want to take a little bit of time doing this. Again, you do want to leave some of the kind of the greyer, whiter areas just to really kind of give it that multi-tone look. Now 
Now I decided I wanted to add a further highlight to the horse's blanket and the trousers of the rider and I was using some Citadel based grey sear, just a slightly lighter grey, just a couple of little touches just really make the miniature pop a little bit more. Now just a quick highlight for the metallic areas and I'm using Game Air Silver. And for the gold areas, it's scale colour, elven gold. And that's one trooper for the 18th Hussars all done and finished. Now the rest of them are being based separately um, later on as part of a, a work project. So you'll just have to make do with the, the picture of the one image here rather than the, the usual um, photos I have of a finished base, etc, etc. But those of you who have followed most of my videos will, will know what those look like anyway. And if you are new to the channel, go check out the uh, other videos and you'll get an idea of what they'll look like. I think the process produces a really nice sort of tabletop level miniature um, with minimal effort um, and you can get a really nice effect just using the contrast over the pre-highlighted miniature itself. The overall effect when they're on masses is really really impressive and that's one of the things I love about this scale so much. If you are new to the channel please do check out the other videos there's lots of painting tutorials for this range um, and there are lots of painting tutorials of, of other miniatures from the similar ranges so the the warlord games is epic battles american civil war um, and lots of flames of war as well so lots of painting tutorials sort of for 15 millimeter and under but there are other bits on the channel as well so please do check them out if you liked the video please do consider giving us a like it really helps us out and if you haven't already consider subscribing to the channel thanks very much for watching take care i'll catch you soon